my mind was blown when I figured out how to do this. And I'm like, I need to share this with everyone. I need to just, if anything, if I, if you take away any organization tips from me, storing elements and putting the elements into folders, just genius. Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, I'm gonna show you a few techniques to help you get a little bit more organized inside of Canva. I don't know about you, but sometimes I can just be spending hours, it feels like absolute days, trying to find a file or a design that I created inside of Canva. Let's dive in and take a look. So here we are, we're on the Canva homepage and you can see as I scroll down here, I've got so many untitled designs. I've got designs that are just not in any kind of like folder or anything else like that. They're just all over the place. They're just not organized at all. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do when you come in to organize yourself inside of Canva, if you come over to your projects folder and you go to the folders and you can then click add new, add new folder, or you can right click on the space here and click add new folder. Now you can come up with any kind of folder structure that you want to. Testing, I'm just gonna put testing folders we're going to click continue and you can see straight away that that should be testing folders it's right there on the screen now you can actually add subfolders onto your design or into your folder structure as well so if you click on testing folders you can either add a design or create a design here but you can also right click and click add a folder or click add new and add a folder and this is a subfolder. So now we've got a subfolder inside of testing folders. So you can go multiple levels inside of there. So you just treat it like you would as if you were saving it to your any design on your laptop or anything else like that or on your computer. You can create a folder structure very similar to that inside of Canva. It used to be not so long ago that you'd only get on the free version of Canva, you'd get three folders, but now even on the free version of Canva, you do get unlimited folders. But if you do wanna try out Canva Pro, I've got a link to a 45 day trial of Canva Pro down in my description below. And for those of you that don't know me, my name's Darren, I'm a Canva verified expert. Let's dive back into Canva and carry on with these tips to help you get sorted and more structured with your designs inside of Canva. Once you've got your folder structure sorted, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is come down through your designs and decide, is it a design you want to keep and also to name the designs. I've got so many untitled designs inside of my Canva. You can see here, I've just got them untitled design. If you just click on the design, you can see if it's a design you want to keep, this one's just a blank one, so I can come back. I can click on the three dots and I can just click delete or move to trash. That's gonna then remove it into my trash folder and it keeps them there for 30 days. So if you do delete something accidentally, you can just go back into the trash icon down here and then just remove it or recover it back to wherever it was beforehand, just like you would on a computer file or computer structure basically you can just come over to the trash and then just recover it from there but you're going to go through and you're going to decide is it a design that you want to keep and if it is give it a name if it's not a design that you want to keep bit it one quick tip before we move on to step number three and that is when you're naming your designs you can see i've done it with this design down here it's good to add a date at the beginning of your design so i use a date structure which is the year 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 month month day day so for this one it's 2024 02 10 so that's just reading it back in the in reverse it'll be the 10th of february 2024 that just helps because it it'll allow you to then organize and sort your files in a date order you can do that over here so if you notice up at the top right hand corner you can sort by newest edited oldest edited alphabetical uh, ascending or descending. That's step number two of getting more organized inside of Canva. Let's move on to step number three. The next step or step number three is gonna to be to actually move your files into that folder structure. And that's really easy inside of Canva. You can just come over and say, uh, let's say I wanted to move this one here, early member access, which you can get if a channel subscriber, you get a week early to my tutorials. So if you are a YouTube channel member, you can get that early access for, I think it's £2.99 a month. So you can just come over, right click on the three dots or click on the three dots, click move to folder, 
and then you can decide where you want to move this folder to. So I'm just going to call move this to um, 2024 tutorial docs. Okay, you can just click move to folder, and then when you choose to click move to folder, you'll see that it actually has this folder structure actually on there and you can click on this you'll notice that I've got that on these last few documents here that it actually has these here so if I wanted to go to begin at Canva February 2024 and just click on that and that's going to then take me to that folder so if I know I've got other designs in that folder that I want to go to then I can just click on that and then I can find the designs inside of that folder if you go back to all your projects and you go back to the designs you'll notice that wherever a design is filed, of which not many of these are, but I am going to be going through and organising this, which is part of why I'm doing this tutorial, is because I realised I was unorganised and I thought, well, if I'm unorganised with my designs, I'm pretty sure other people will be unorganised with, with their designs down there. So I've got this one here, which is lunchtime builds, and you can see as I hover over it, it does scroll to different uh, thumbnails of designs inside of that. Click on Lunchtime Build, which is my Lego channel. Go check it out. If you like Lego, go check out my Lunchtime Builds Lego channel. You might have noticed quite a bit of it in the background here. I do do live builds of some of the Lego buildings that I do. So that is all of the designs on there. And you can then, once you're within a folder, you can then just switch and just show images, brand kit, or anything else like that that you might have in here. I've only got designs in there, so that's why it only has designs. I don't have any subfolders in that one. Or you can just click on all, and that's gonna then show you all of the designs and all of the elements or anything else like that inside of that folder. Now I understand that you might have lots of different folders and deeper folders and folders with inside folders, and there might be a folder that you use on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, however often you use it. If it's a folder that you want to access on a regular basis, rather than going away and trying to find it or search for it, let me show you this next tip because you're gonna really enjoy this tip and it saves me so much time. So here on the Canva homepage, we've got this section here called Starred. Now you'll notice I've got a couple of folder images down here. So if I go to my 2024 YouTube thumbnails, you'll see that's going to take me straight to that folder and I can just come in here and I can click create a new version of this. I can duplicate a copy. I can create a new copy. I can open it up. I can go into the designs or anything else I want to do on there. I realized I was in a folder. So now I can come in and I can do make a copy of that design and then create a new thumbnail or on here I can just click create a new design. But we're going to come on to that tip in a minute. That's a sneaky little tip that I've shown you so far. But let's say we're in the 2024 YouTube thumbnail. You can see I've actually starred this folder. Now, what that means is when you start a folder, it will add it down to your left hand panel down here. So if I just come back to my projects and I come to folders, let's say I wanted to add lunchtime builds down the left hand side on there. If you click start that folder, come back to the Canva homepage, you can see now on that left hand panel, we've now got easy, quick access to that folder so that I can quickly and easily find it. It's not just folders that you can store. You can actually store elements inside of Canva as well. So let's just go. I'm just going to go to a random Instagram post. This is just a random Instagram post and let's say we we like this design and it's like well what I really want is I want to be able to access these elements on a regular basis. If you come up to the little eye icon here you can then choose to star that folder okay or star that item. Now when you come back to your Canva homepage if you click starred that's going to then take you to a folder of all of the starred items that you've got inside of Canva. So you can star things and you can actually even put these into a folder. So if I wanted to put that into a folder called testing folders and into my subfolder, I could actually move that into that subfolder. Now, let me just <laughs> go through that again for you. So this is my starred 
elements okay so we've gone into a design okay we've starred an element i'm going to do it on a different element so you can see me do it okay we've got this starred element you click on the eye for information click on star okay and then when you come back to the canva homepage, you can click on your starred items you can see this new element that you've starred okay now you click on the three dots and you can click add to folder and now i want to add it into the same subfolder that i had beforehand and i just click move add into that subfolder okay now how do you access those okay well what we can do is we can come over and you can type in subfolder subfolder you can see it down here okay and now inside of that subfolder you've got those elements that's great you're thinking well how do i access those to use them in a design i know we're going a little bit off track here but let's say we are in an instagram post we're just going to name this we're just going to testing delete later okay so now i'm we're knowing that I need to name a file and I want to delete this later. So I'm only doing this as a test. So now let's say we're in here and it's like, right, well, I want to access those elements. You can come up to your projects and you can go to your folders and you can search in your projects and you can type in sub folder because it's the, it was in the subfolder. Okay, we've got this subfolder here. And now this is where those elements are and you can just click them and add them to your design so you can store regularly used elements add them to a folder and then access them in a new design my mind was blown when i figured out how to do this and i'm like i need to share this with everyone i need to just if anything if i if you take away any organization tips from me storing elements and putting the elements into folders just genius a few tips just to keep organized going forward as well okay so let's say i want to create a new thumbnail on here okay so i've got my thumbnails on here i want to create a new thumbnail so i'm coming over i've come over to my folder click add a design and create a new design i want to create a new youtube thumbnail it's created a blank thumbnail for me okay but because i've started in that folder it's going to automatically save this design to that folder so let's just click on a random thumbnail here okay and this is just testing thumbnail thumbnail okay we're going to click close on that and we're going to click command and r to refresh okay now this takes a few moments to to name it but we know that that is the folder so this design is now automatically inside of that folder so i know if i want to create a thumbnail for my next video i can just come over and start the design inside of that folder so if you're working on a project if you've got a project folder rather than having a project go missing or save it to somewhere else check to make sure you're in the right structure you can see you can go back to the projects folder up here and you can start clicking through and uh, this is our testing folders and you can go back to there you can see as you go deeper and deeper the structure does come up here so now if you wanted to go back you can just click on these to navigate your way around and if you wanted to put a new folder in there you can create a new folder i'm not going to because this is just me demonstrating how to set up folders i'm going to go away and sort all of my designs out after i've created this tutorial and scheduled it so by the time you're watching this hopefully my file structure is going to be a little bit more organized going forwards a couple of other tips are once you start a design we're going to create a new design create a new design i'm going to just create a thumbnail in here one of the best things that you can do when you create a new design before you start creating your design come up here give it a name test testing naming a file delete later okay i've added that note on there so i can say uh naming naming a file so i know that when i come back and i see that later on i can just delete it if you do create a design from the home page what you can do also is come up to file and you can say save to folder 
This one says move to a folder, so I can move it to a different folder. So if you start a design in the wrong folder, you can then move it to a different folder. So you can see this one, I started it in the templates folder, but I'm gonna move it to the other folder, the subfolder. And now when I come back here, click refresh. Okay, we should have our subfolder. And this is where we've got that untitled YouTube thumbnail. You can see down here, it tells us what type of document it's gonna be. And it does take a few moments just to update in the background, but it will update in there. Are you with me? Let me know if you've got any questions so far on organizing your files and folders inside of Canva, because also you can, one little trick, let's say I've got this design here and I wanted to just move it to here. I, you can drag and drop it. And as you hover over those, you can see it comes up and each folder will then open up inside of Canva. Two more tips. The next thing that you can do is if you're using Canva Pro, is set up your brand kit. Inside of your brand kit, you can add in your logos, your brand colors, you can add in regular photos. So if you are inside of a design like you are here, you can come over to brand and you can see, you can actually quickly and easily access your logos. So that's me, Darren, I'm Canva Verified Expert, but also regularly used images. So if this was an image that I wanted to use on a regular basis, you can set them up in your brand kit and quickly and easily access them inside from or from your brand kit in any design. Just like you would with the folder structure that we looked at earlier on, you can set up your brand kit. Now, the, setting up the brand kit is a Canva Pro feature. And I, if you do want to try it out, setting up your brand kit and having all those amazing features and also access to thousands more elements and templates and everything else like that, all the good things inside of Canva, then do check out the 45 day trial of Canva down below. And until next time, thank you very much and bye for now.